Hi students, in the previous class, you have learnt what is Euclid division lemma. In this session, finding HCF using Euclid division lemma. How to find, we will be learning in this session. We'll consider an example. Take two numbers, 1001 and 385. We are finding HCF using Euclid division lemma or we can say Euclid's algorithm also. We all know according to Euclid's division lemma A is equal to BQ plus R. If you see the number 1001 and 385, 1001 is greater than 385, then A is equal to 1001 and B is equal to 385. We have to apply Euclid's algorithm for 1001 and 385. 1001 is equal to uh, in place of uh, A we have to write 1001 is equal to in place of B we should write 385 into you should get quotient and remainder so that we have to divide here 1001 385 385 into two times we can do here if you multiply 385 into 2, you will get 770. If you subtract this both, the remainder will be 231. So, 1001 is equal to 385 into 2 plus 231. Here, we didn't get the remainder 0. Remainder is not equal to 0. As we didn't get the remainder 0, still we didn't get the HCF. We have to continue again the same process by taking these two numbers. Divisor and remainder. Again we have to apply Euclid division lemma for apply Euclid's division lemma for 385 and 231 385 is equal to 231 into you should get quotient and remainder we can continue here itself only write 385 here 231 ones are 231 if you subtract this both you will be getting 154 1 plus 154 again we didn't get the remainder 0 you have to continue the same process 231 is equal to 154 into you can continue here the division into 1 you will get 154 if you subtract you will be getting 77 1 plus 77 again you know you didn't get the remainder 0 consider 154 and 77 154 is equal to 77 into you can continue here 77 154 77 twos are you will be getting 154 and the remainder 0 so 154 is equal to 77 into plus 0. You got remainder 0. Therefore R is equal to 0. The divisor whatever is there here in this step that is 77. That is HCF. Therefore HCF of 1001 
comma 385 is 77 this is the way how you are getting the hcf again i will repeat the problem if you have two numbers 1001 and 385 you have to apply euclid division lemma greater number you have to take as a and the smaller number you have to take as b then use euclid division uh, lemma and get you have to keep solving unless you get the remainder zero as you get the remainder zero whatever is the divisor that is the hcf this is the method of solving the problems some things you have to note in this if you have two numbers first note if you have two numbers for example 25 and 102 in this case you will not get HCF the HCF will be 1 leaving 1 there is no other common factor here so these two numbers are called as co-primes the second note what you have to know if you have three numbers for example 1000 625 1200 if you have two number three numbers you want to find the HCF of this three first using the same method find HCF of two numbers afterwards consider this HCF and the third number find once more the HCF between these two the final HCF what you get that will be the HCF of three numbers I hope so students will follow this whatever I have done in this video there is a PDF attachment for this video consisting of 10 problems you people have to solve these 10 problems before the next session.